Can you start? Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to Zoom project update. Uh, I'm the speaker, Ji Wei. And uh, this is uh, our other speaker, Lu Hongbin. We will show, uh, first of all, we will show you a brief uh, introduction about Zoom. And uh, then we will say something about uh, that the feature we have already finished and uh, we are going to do in the stand. After that, uh, we will show you a demo so that uh, you can see how to, how to use the Zoom. First of all, uh, what is Zoom? In simple terms, Zoom is an uh, open stack container service. It's armed to provide uh, it's armed to provide the uh, API service for running application containers without the need to manage service and uh, characters. Cluster, and uh, Zoom also integrates multi OpenStack service. Uh, the advantage of uh, integrating OpenStack service is that uh, you can extend the open uh, the container function with by use the extending OpenStack service. And uh, you can see is the OpenStack service uh, that uh, we uh, request for the best of faction. Neutron Keystone and the query lib network. Neutron provides the network service for Zoom. So when you use uh, Neutron, Vim's Neutron function, such as uh, security group, can also be used in Zoom container. And uh, Keystone, we can use it, uh, uh, we can use it uh, as, uh, no, as NOAA, like NOAA. And the uh, query lib network uh, is a plugin. Is a plugin that uh, contain that uh, can connect uh, container network and uh, new chain. So we can also use uh, we can use also use other OpenStack service for extension function uh, that you can see center and guns. In actually business, sometimes we need to save data for a long time. So the, the way we to uh, support it is to use uh, Cinder. Zoom, uh, Zoom use Cinder. We can create a container. The uh, user can choose to mount the Cinder volume to the container. A uh, Cinder volume can be an extending volume or a new created uh, volume. Each volume will be bound to a band pass in container file system. And uh, the data stored under the patch will be persist. And uh, we also can use glance. Glance is, is, glance is used to store docker images. Of course, if you don't want to use glance, you can also use docker Huber. So why we choose uh, Zoom? In fact, uh, uh, this part of PPT, I will say something about the difference between uh, other, of, uh, other option for in, incorporating OpenStack and the doctor. Currently, there are some uh, options for incorporating OpenStack and the doctor. For example, Nova Doctor. Nova Doctor. When we use Nova Doctor, the container is can be operates like a Vim. For example, you can start, stop, and uh, so on. But the, dis but the disadvantage of uh, Nova Doctor is that uh, there, are still something different. there are still some difference between Vim and uh, Doctor. We, we, uh, between do Docker. So, sorry. The option of Docker by VM-like uh, model will still uh, may cause a few functions that are uh, unable to achieve, like uh, port mapping and so on. And uh, we have also have the Magnum. Magnum is an uh, open stack project that of the container uh, of the of the container cluster development function in OpenStack. In fact, uh, in, in fact uh, actually, Magnum uh, most uh, focused on the customer development of the container. And uh, Zoom, meant, 
and uh, Zoom manages containers, containers as uh, OpenStack resources, and uh, us users don't need to manage, uh, need, don't need to care about the service and uh, cluster. Um, so, where can we use uh, Zoom? For example, CI/CD, patch workland, appl application hosting, and uh, VCP. Uh, I will tell something about the. Uh, I will say something about the VCP. The development of VCP has a high requirement on the ISO land of the containers and uh, need to be able to cope with the firewall upgrade. At personal, Zoom already, already supports CATA container technologies, so we can achieve the island between containers. At the same time, the implementation, the implementation of, container, of container rebuild foundation can also achieve the, uh, achieve the purpose of a firewall version upgrade. We will take uh, uh, later. So you can uh, you can see is the function that we have already done. Kata container, zone cont uh, container rebuild, and uh, single volume multi attach, and AZ and uh, container healthy check. So far, uh, zone already supports Kata container and uh, the zone. Uh, this VP is uh, is the implement, uh, implement uh, for mag magazine for is uh, sorry. This VP implements Kuta managing for open stake resources. Uh, so far, the resources uh, can be managed is the number of the content the CPU disk and uh, memory and. Uh, Container rebuild. Container rebuild. Uh, we can also rebuild a container with uh, different images to achieve the purpose of the upgrading containers. And uh, single volume multi attach. So for, uh, this BP allows the same single uh, allows the same single world to mount uh, two or more containers. So. Uh, this is a future we uh, future that uh, we are going to do. Uh, the uh, Kubernetes integration, placement API, and uh, host Kata container in capsule as well. And uh, uh, we are going to make uh, Zoom to support the vGPU, and uh, so on. so let's see a demo. Okay, hi. Hi, everyone. So uh, as a brief recap of what Jiwei is saying is, Zoom is a project that is allow you to create containers without creating any VMs. So what you need to do is run a command and specify an image in the Docker hub, and click the command, and the Zoom will pull down the image from Docker hub and run the container based on this image. And so in here, I'm going to show a demo, and the first part of the demo is going to show you a very basic scenario is that you have a container image and I want to run the VMs on OpenStack. And so this is the Horizon uh, dashboard and there's a container tab that is provided by plugins that is developed by our team. And so in here, we can create containers. We specify the name of the image, and which is in the Docker hook. And there's a, a few parameters you can set. For example, you can set the CPUs, and you can set the memories. And there's a, a, a few other parameters that you can set to configure these containers. And then you click the Create, and we wait for the container to be up and running. And it will take a few seconds. Oh. 
So now the container is running. And we go inside the containers, we can see the detailed information of these containers. And, and there's a console tab that you can, that will drop into the shell of these containers. And in the shell, you can enter a few commands and see the output. And the network of this container is provided by the Neutron so that you can see the interface is getting the IP address for the Neutron. And you can ping the external IP address inside the containers. So when we finish using this container, we can delete the containers. So this is the first part of the demo. And so we show you how to use the drone to run and delete the containers, which is the most basic scenarios of running container in OpenStack. And the second part of the demo I'm gonna show is how to use the hit the open set of the service to create an application that's based on the containers. And the application we are going to create is going to be very, uh, a more advanced and sophisticated, and it requires to orchestrate a few containers with other open set resources such as foreign IPs. And how do we go back? Sorry. Yeah, so I just pass the videos and right now I try to resume the videos and yeah, so here we create a stack that is in the heat and we go into the stack, we can see the topology of the these applications. It contains a few containers in the zone and it can, it also have a free IP address that's from the Neutron. And in here we can see the list of resources in this stack. And there's a few containers and there's a foreign IPs. And this is the hit template we are, going to, we are using to create this stack. And there's a container that is host the MySQL database. And there's another container that is host the applications. And in this container, we have, we set an environment variables that is point to the IP address of the database. And the IP address is getting from another containers. And we have a foreign IP that is associated with the, the container that's host the applications. And to associate the foreign IP, we pull, we we retrieve the pod, the neutron pod of the containers and set it as a target to associate the foreign IPs. And here we have the URL of the applications and we open the browsers, enter the URL, we can see the application is up and running. Yeah. Yeah, we can see the application is running and it's based on the containers. Yeah, so this finished the demo.
So that's all. Uh, so how to join us? This is our uh, channel. We will we uh, we will get a meeting at uh, every every Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. yeah, we are host a meeting in IRC channel, and there's a blueprint, there's a block checkers. That is standard in OpenStack, and there's a documentations. Yeah, I think it's finished. Right? Okay. Yeah. Any questions? Uh, when did you diverge from Nova at the beginning? What, what did, why did you choose to get a proper separate project from Nova, which is already embodied in the VM and brought all to the cloud? So in the Nova, we the Nova API is designed for the VMs and. The container they have some the API of the container have some set of OLAP functionality with the VMs, but there's other part of the functionality that is not fit into the VM APIs. And so we decide actually the the previous project that that is MATLAB that is decided that we 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 going to create a dedicated project there for the containers and and the MATLAB is created and eventually is become a a project that is for provision of Kubernetes clusters, and Zoom is 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 separate from the MATLAB and become the project to to run the epic, to run the containers. And uh, do you plan to uh, integrate more and more uh, intelligence to the scheduler of Zoom in order to, uh, for example, being able to get the mix and uh, the uh, placement of the I yeah, we are planning to use the pavement. So uh, we are going to report the host resource to the pavement, and we have the schedule to find the resource, find a candidate to schedule the containers. But this work is going on, and we hopefully we can finish the features in within this cycle. And Uh, the direct answer is no, because the Zun is don't want to become another obstetrator, but we are doing a feature that is integrated with the Kubernetes, and what we are going to do is to implement the virtual Kubernetes, and which is provide, which is a process that is, that is like the Kubernetes, but it's virtual, and so the Kubernetes scheduled the pod to the virtual Kubernetes, and the virtual Kubernetes is called the API of the Zoom to provision the pod in the Zoom. And eventually, this is going to integrate, and you can use the Kubernetes orchestration to orchestrate container in Zoom. And this is a plan to adjust the use case last thing. Yeah. 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 For a presentation, you talked about the integration between Zoom and Kata containers. Yes. So, can you explain So, Kata container, right now we are using the Dockers. We are using the Docker APIs. And the Kata container is not a doc it's not a replacement of the docker this is a runtime in the dockers so in the zone you can say i create a container and you specify a runtime that's cutters and so then you can create a cutter containers is that explain your questions
Right now, we have no plan to integrate with NOAA's. And if there's somebody requests this feature, I'm going to ask the use case. And Sorry? That's the pretty much the same case as we use Kata Gunnar, where you have all the cosmos running in Dune, but Dune being, being uh, isolated by the Nova here. Okay, but right now we are just directly use, run the Docker, run the container in the compute host. And if the people want the isolations, they can use the Kata, choose the Kata as a runtime. So I'm not sure if this still makes sense to run the container in the VMs and, well, I, I need to learn more about the use case. And so is there any other questions? Thank you.